Good morning and welcome to this video. Now that we have had an overview of how our project works, we will see together how to create a component. So we are going to add a new file in the application folder. And inside, we are going to create a subfolder. So I'm going to go directly to the source folder, to the app subfolder, and I'm going to create the folder and name it user. But you can choose something else, of course. Same thing for the file. I'm going to call it user. However, it has to contain the same convention, user.component.ts. And we export to class. Export class. In which you generally name the component user. Here I put in Pascal case. Now we add the decorator. We will put a space and Arabas component to tell Angular that this class should be treated as a component. And here my ID added the import automatically, but you have to make sure that it's filled in every time you create this type of file. Each file works independently and depends on each dependency of that file. So every object or class which you use from another file must be imported into this file. Now we definitely need a selector here, so we have our own tag to use it. Now you are relatively free as far as naming but that name will have to have a dash in it so that you don't conflict with the default name is like h1. I'm going to name it app user to follow the convention with app has a prefix and then the component name. Now I'm also going to add a URL template to link the corresponding HTML file. But this file doesn't exist yet. We are going to create it. Make sure you give the right path so that the ID finds our HTML file in our tree. So we have created the file. I'm going to name it user.component.html. Here is the file. Inside, we are going to put a p tag to add a paragraph. And I'm just going to put some users and we save. Now, in the app, module.ts file, here it is, and we're going to add an import where we are going to import the user component just below it. So I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to put user component like this and you have to make sure that the name that you use here matches your class name that you have created here. In this file and it has to be a relative path that is the user subfolder and in the user component without the ts extension and then it interacts well on both files we now add it to the declarations that we have to declare in all the components that we use in this module the question is where will Angular then look for the selector in this component? And the answer is basically in all the other components in this declaration. But first, I have to modify my file. I replace the parentheses to user components with brackets and also replace the double quotes with singles to read the import properly. And I delete the one that is of no use to us so we can go to the application. Now we will test our component that we have created in our file app.component.html in searching app user. You will see that if you go back to your browser, you can see on our page the content of our page about our component that we created. That's it for our video. See you.